Hello, I'm here again and it's spring and it's time for medical water filters again. Here in Minnesota, the ice is almost gone and I've been working this winter on a couple of new ideas with them. I still make this filter, which is my best uh, one. Best seller. And the uh, best seller and uh, it works better than what else, but it's uh, but I thought maybe we should make it so you can put more together and and it'll do uh, work longer before cleaning and it'll give you more flow to, for gallons per minute. So that's what I worked on this winter. So what I've made is a r way to put four together and on one bigger pump where you could probably move a, 100 gallons a minute of water through the pump and uh, in order to do that we have to put put these together there they'll hold about 30 pounds of pea rock and that's enough to handle in one time so you can put those and this is my framework I built for it it's got the one filter in there these are easy to put together is you notice the parts are eight parts and those go together and this part in the middle is where they all come together and you suck the water through a four inch pipe in the bottom. If you can get that picture and then uh, I'll show you I put a gasket on these and you can just plug them in like this they plug in and to, to keep them there we have a stretch tool like this goes over the top and locks it in like this that keeps it in place all the time now I've got a, one cement block to hold it up now I would recommend you use about four like that and you can tie this part down to keep it in place so the the whole thing will weigh about a hundred pounds or so when it's all in place this is made out of maple or cedar I should cedar, say yeah. this is cedar so that'll wage and this part in the middle another one this is this plastic lumber and this it will not wear by water, it won't swell and works. That's our junction box in the middle. We put that together in the middle so the pump, there's a four inch opening in the bottom for four inch pipe. So that's solder and you can, on this one we got a T on there and that's made that way you could use a submersible pump that goes into a four inch pipe and uh, the pump has a motor on the one end that you put an end in and then you line it up so that between the pump and the motor is where the suction is on the pump and that would come right under the middle here and suck from a four inch pipe so that would give you good flow and so the water goes uh it sucked down through here through the screen and then it goes in the middle here and then down and then it would go out one direction and the other direction would be blocked because that's where however that submersible pump works it sends right. it one way and the back here then would be blocked and then your feed line would go out that one way, way. Right. Here's the one with the filter right on the top. You can see how easy they go together. And uh, you can see this will slide right in. There's a little gasket on here that holds that in place. And then they go in like that. And then you just, there's just a screw or you could put an eye on here or whatever. Goes around the top, hooks on here and that keeps it in place 
plus it's going to be 30 pounds of weight so that'll hold it in place so that'll make a pretty easy job so if you got to stop and clean them all you got to do is take this off pull one out and if you had an extra one around you could shove that in and clean this one and uh, I think uh, if you uh, you probably should plug the hole you shouldn't run it unless you got them all full with uh, here's the other one here's the fourth one then so remember you you could buy and you sold a lot of these and people a lot of people buy just this right and then that's a double that'll do what is this a fit 30 gallon per minute about, I, I would say about, about 25 about 25 maybe. and uh, but here we're using four of these so we quadruple the amount of water that yeah. we're filtering then I guess so they all go in and, and they all hold together with the, like this and uh, so that, that's one way of doing it there's that's what I've done that's what's new with this so I hope I can find people that have got uh, areas where they need more for irrigating uh, gardens or uh, big lawns and so on this would be a nice way to do it you could use a square cement block and lower it down about eight inches so then that would still work that way. The other thing is we were can this top come off now or is that yeah. still on? No that one doesn't. This one does. Let's open take the top off of that one. So because we were talking to someone earlier today who said that all he has for a filter is just this about I don't know maybe three feet long. And he said that's just exposed to the lake water and that he said that's always plugging up and it's hard to clean off. So with this scenario, this is all filled with P-Rock, and then you have the cover on there, plus you have this green filter on here. So then, the only thing that could really plug up would be this thing here. So that's all you would have to do to clean it, is to take this off and clean this, or just put a new one on, you sell extra of these. Yeah, so. those wear out, you know, in the summer, you could probably use a couple of them but uh, it's, uh, it's another simple way to, to take some of the coarser dirt and leaves and stuff out of the way. So but it's kind of a secondary benefit first of all it filters the water well but the secondary thing is it's, it's really easy to keep it clean. So that's, so that's about what I've done this year for something new so that's basically the changes this uh, this plastic lumber is is pretty handy this piece here shows how it's made and we put this piece in the bottom and this all goes together with screws and I, I don't glue it any place so you can take it apart and uh, replace these these are all identical, so uh, yeah. just uh, doing this to keep myself retired and keep keeping out of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but and if if you have questions, you can go to the website. It's called the the website is www.lakewaterfilters.com. Uh, so if you're watching this on YouTube, you can go to the website and you can order there or you can ask questions there and you or you can read more information about these and see some more videos and more pictures so if you have questions uh, let us know send us an email um, or make a comment this is Jeff my son and uh, our fo photographer is his son and so yeah. we're all sort of in this together <laughs> yeah so we appreciate your business and I've been happy with the business I've done. I've covered the uh, U.S. and I've covered a lot of Canada too. But yeah. the, my furthest sale was in Denmark. So, and none of them come back. So. <laughs> none of them have been returned. So yeah, you've been, you have happy customers apparently yeah. and you've gotten a lot of good comments. 
Uh, people so seem to like them. Yeah. So thanks, and uh, keep on filtering your lake water. Thank you. Okay.